and defeat you will all face in life. There is no escape from the wounds of love, death, and the crushed dream. What then will you do when the demons meet you and strip you of your happiness? It is my belief that those present here will overcome what the fates inflict. The cuts on your hands will heal and make your fists like rock. Mitch, are you going to eat that pastrami sandwich? It's all you, master. Partake of what little pleasures you can. For as the Buddha teaches, the greater part of life is suffering. I have in my hands your belts. Frame one you must be worthy in all forms. No, Marcus. You are not ready. We'll see about that. Mm. Oh, yeah! I think he's figuring out it's not that funny. <laughs> nope. He's gonna milk it. <laughs> so what you drawing there, Jacko? I was just killing time drawing the escalator. Just line art stuff. It's really precise. It's wretchedly boring, but it's, it's precise. Nick! Yeah? I'm acting manager. I think it's your turn for mop duty. Don't quit your horsing off. Come on, please. Oh, it's driving me to suicide. <laughs> so sweet cheeks. It's Friday. <laughs> we still on for Thai food and movie night? Sure. Yeah. Can't break tradition. Nope. Yep. You got any ideas? I was thinking Return of the Rings. It's a date. It's nothing mm -hmm. like a bunch of doe-eyed midgets to get me in the mood. Fucking bitch! <laughs> Sick of your lip, Pepito! We need to start the film in Theater One? I, uh... Oh, no. Hi, Jack. Can you do me a flavor? This is Marcus, our new employee. Can you get him started on the training videos? Sharon, can you tear tickets? Sure. Thanks, kids. Hey, we went to high school together. I went to your senior art gallery. Still painting? You went to Rockford? Not long, though, only about a year. 
I got kicked out for cheating on my SATs. Technically, though, there's a kid I make take the test for me. I got caught cheating. <laughs> anyway, uh, this is Sharon. Hey. Hey. I guess we got to get you assimilated now. Hi. Uh, two tickets for Gimps on the Moon, please. That'll be nineteen dollars. Nineteen dollars? That's pretty steep, young lady. Sorry, bitch. I don't make the prices. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold that phone, Ramon. Somebody please help our trainee be more effective. I have a feeling there were three things this trainee could have done a little better. Right, Cindy? Right, Wendy. Hey. One. Isn't she that the girl you just introduced me to? Yeah, Sharon's an actress. She volunteered to act in these videos to help boost her resume. <laughs> Who wouldn't be impressed? <laughs> Two, always make eye contact and smile when customers approach. This shows them that you are happy and eager to please. Uh, you should pay attention to the movie. There's a quiz you have to fill out when this is over. I'll just, I'll check in about an hour or so, right? Okay. Have fun. <laughs> Accept your stated policy. <laughs> Enjoy the show. Jack. Jack, do you hate this job? This a trap? <laughs> Let me rephrase. Are you familiar with a woman named Martha Russell? Sure. The billionaire, right? Well, she's my aunt. She just opened up the Russell Building downtown, and she needs a painter to create a mural for the lobby. Really? Is it a contest? Sort of, if you're in the know. You can submit your resume, and my aunt will consider you. What's the commission? 60000 Plus a degree of prestige that comes with having your work seen by millions. Jeez! Well, I haven't been inspired lately. I mean, I haven't painted in over a year. Listen, Jack. Listen carefully. I've seen your work. You're more than qualified, and my aunt listens to me. If I put in a good word for you, do you have any idea how a successful artist lives? You get a condo with a hot tub. A nice car, studio all your own, two servant boys to give you sensual rubdowns. Well, that all sounds great. I mean, except for the excellent. So get your shit together and submit it. In the meantime, someone urinated in theater one. Oh. Bye. You smoke? We're not supposed to take a break for an hour and a half. I'm trying to quit. Plus, I have a mild heart condition. I saw you on that video. <laughs> oh, yeah. God. I rue the day that I ever accepted that gig. Every time somebody gets hired here at the theater, they have to watch the video, and then they come up to me to like, Oh, Sharon, can you show us the proper way to greet a customer? Hard to fucking hard. I just did it to boost my resume so I could get this stuff in there. <laughs> that band sucks. Yeah, that's a prestigious theater company. All right, so what are you into? I gave up on all the things I really like. I mean, can't paint, can't write. I can't play music at all. It's the only thing I'm really good at is hand-to-hand -hand combat. No. I'm a black belt. Bodo Taijutsu, way of the ninja. Oh, come on. There's no such thing. My master is uh, really beating me into a real martial arts.
Now you see why I cannot give you the Black Belt. You attempted a technique that I myself taught you. That is your greatest weakness, Marcus. No creativity. No inspiration to rise on your own. No! There is no room to question Sensei. We are trained in the art of ninja. And in this school, there are no rules! <laughs> the belt! The belt! <laughs> you know, you pretend to be this wise old master. You're nothing but a used up accountant with a fake Japanese accent. I mean, you grew up in Schomburg, for Christ's sakes. God damn, this hurts. Let that bruise remind you that you are a shitty ninja. Yeah? Well, your head sucks! I'm not giving up on you, Mosquito. You'll earn your belt if I have to beat you like a red-headed stepchild! You tell him, Master. Shut up, Fatty! Oh. Oh, okay, so that's why you look like you fell down the stairs? Yeah. Check this out. It means seize the day. Oh, uh, yeah, carpe diem. We studied that in high school. Pretty much means, uh, let's pork now because we're all gonna die tomorrow. Yeah. Live like there's no tomorrow. You have beautiful eyes, you know that? Thank you. That's what my boyfriend Jack says. Jack is your boyfriend. Well, what's that supposed to mean? Come on. Look at you. You're smoking hot. Jack's... Jack is very sweet. I might have motivation issues, but come on, I mean, who doesn't? Don't get me wrong. I'm not cutting on anyone here. Jack has a lot of potential. Right? That's true. Don't get me into trouble, Marcus. Come on. You're in drama. Why don't you uh, get on the back of my bike? We'll go for a ride after this. Ah, uh, forget it. Jack and I have plans. <laughs> Suit yourself. Yo. Hey, what's shaking, boy? Hey, Pop. Not a mucho. Sharon's coming over in a few minutes. A oh, big date, huh? Yeah. Friday night tradition. Thai food and a DVD. Ah, uh, the comfort zone. Why don't you spice it up? Play the keys for her. Here we go. Chicks, take the jazz, man. Ask your mom. Yeah, please stop. All right. Waste those lessons. You think you could score me some grass? I'm tired of the ditchweed these cats are smoking around here. All right, so let's see what I can scrounge. Thanks. Later. Oh, wait, hold on. Whole army of goblins. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think I like the wizard's first staff better, you know? Mm -hmm. Just more organic. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's no way that troll's gonna win. <laughs> Dead! <laughs> mm. Don't do it! Oh, we did it! Oh, man! I love you, sweet cheeks. Love you, too.
Okay, so the skunk ape is dwelling peacefully in the swamp, as skunk apes do. He's big, he's powerful, he smells really bad. I was thinking he could wrestle an alligator or something. Anyway, this beautiful woman scientist snaps his picture. Skunk apes are stupid, but they're smart enough to know if they get their picture taken and published, then every scientist in the world is gonna come all up into that swamp and start studying them and probing them and, you know, it's gonna be rough for them, especially because Skunk Ape Musk is prized for its euphoric, pleasure-enhancing narcotic effects. Mm -hmm. Skunk Ape Musk gets you high? Yeah, why not? Anyway, so he gets his picture taken, so he gets pissed off. He's like, oh, I'm gonna abduct you, and he does. So he takes her back to his lair, and she's like, no, nah, no, nah. and it's all weird, and you know, they fall in love. It's kind of mushy, but you know. The lizard men come in before it gets a little too. Uh, sounds like a fun comic. Yeah? Yeah. All right. The poster for Night of the Flesh Eaters is now in place. Look upon it, ye mortals, and despair! <laughs> okay. It's a sold out show tonight, guys. It's so, Nick. Refrain from saying anything weird to creep people out. Kill me now, Uncle Chuck. <laughs> serious. Okay. Jack. Yeah. When Sharon says that the theater's clean, let them in. Okay. Ever notice how zombie fans kind of look like zombies? <laughs> It's the perfect real-world example of living dead complacency and mindlessness. It's all the more proof the genre is still relevant. The zombie metaphor is a dead horse. <laughs> I mean, the underlying theme of the zombie plot is to not be a brainless creep. At the same time, these zombie movies are very similar. Dude, you cannot deny the appeal. Gunning down an undead corpse. Man, I cannot wait to see this movie. Oh, jeez. Sneaky Pete. Who? You see the man in the trench coat down there? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, well, he tries to get in for free all the time. <laughs> He'll throw you lines like, I left my ticket in the theater. Just keep an eye on him, all right? Don't let anyone in without a ticket. For sure, Chief. You like these underwears? They're for Peter's gift. <laughs> Press them to your supper bosom. Papitos says all. Yet Theater 7 is de-broad and ready for seating. See, si, see. Si. See, si, see. Si. Oh. Theater 3 to your right. Theater 2. Sweaty hands. Theater 3 to your right. right. Yeah, right. Very, uh, good. Very good. Very good. Oh, hell. Yeah. I think that's Sneaky P. I got him, Jackie boy. I got him. I got him. Out of my way. Out of my way. I got you, P. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. Damn map quest. Maybe late. God damn it. Hey, buddy. Where the hell do you think you're going? I'm going to introduce the movie. <laughs> you have to introduce the movie. And who the hell are you? I'm George Romano. There's a Q&A. <laughs> I know who you are. You're Sneaky Pete. Sneaky bullshit. Now look, Bozo, you let me go through there because the people are waiting. There's a theater. <laughs> <laughs>
not good. Mr. Romano. Can I have your phone number? Uh, uh, well, I'd, I'd like to give it to you, but... Yeah. Um... You can go home now. Bye. He's about to give me his number, dude. I think I have anger issues. Man. Now I gotta start looking for a new job all over again. And not to mention the pending assault charges. Yeah, I doubt it, actually. George seems like a super nice guy. Ooh, I wonder if this is a good time for me to give him my headshot. Oh. Mr. Romano! Hey, hey, Mr. Romano! Hey, 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 I just had cosmetic surgery. Now you stay away. Hey, Mr. Romano, I, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I behaved like a barbarian. Marcus, you can pick up your check next Friday. You are fired. Bye! Mr. Romano, I'm sorry. It was a big mistake. I'm a huge fan of yours. I really am. I, I got issues in my life. That's all. Well, why don't you cut him some slack? Forgive. Uh, I'm afraid it's absolutely necessary. I'm sorry. Well, I'll tell you something, you know. He reminds me of me when I was young. Rugged good looks and bushy hair and the fashionably rebellious nature and, you know, I bet you get a lot of poontang, right? Because I sure did. I used to go out with these models seven foot tall. We'd go to whorehouses and the drugs. We had any kind of drugs we'd want. We didn't have a care in the world. Sometimes we had drugs up the ass. Look, you, you, you can't fire this guy. He reminds me of me. All right. Marcus, you are not fired, but suspended for the rest of the week. Thanks, Chief. Mr. Romano, you are an inspiration to the dregs of society like me. You know, this just might inspire my next project. Like they say, great art comes from great pain. Yeah. I'll remember that. I remember, I remember this bitch in Berlin. She came like a camel. And I said to her, I said, my chocolate canal is a one-way street. It is a haiku. I took that belt with pure ingenuity. You gotta give me credit for that. Cheaters never win, you dingleberry of a fat man's ass. No. I'm gonna tear that beard off, you twinkie bitch. Such insolence will not be tolerated. Ah!
theater's closed. You can't stay here, man. Experiment. <laughs> it's hash. A little bit of opium. Jeez. Bet my dad wigged out when he tried it. <laughs> He's used to rural Illinois ditchweed. <laughs> ditchweed. Let's get. Come on. <coughs> oh, Jesus, Jack. I think that's it. Hey! 
Jack, what's shaking? Bob! Hi! What you doing here? Well, the venue doesn't open for a few hours and your mom wanted to catch a flick, so here we are. Jackie, give me a hug. Ooh, you smell like smoke. Yeah, there was this uh, pipe guy who was just standing here a minute ago. <laughs> yeah, and his name was you, Jack. Ick's name? Pipe guy. Jackie, you aren't smoking the reefer, are you? No! No way! But marijuana is illegal. Yes. And we smoke that shit. <laughs> He's wasted. I mean, look at him. Hey, tell me that bag I gave you ain't the bomb. Sorry, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> it's pretty funny, Marcus. He's just joking around. Don't freak out, Mom. Good God, we're going to miss the show. We'll see you later, Jack. Mary, let's go. Bye-bye! Dude, what the hell do you think you're doing? My mother is completely against smoking pot. She didn't know I smoked. She didn't know my dad did. She does now. It's your fault. I don't get you, man. You're a complete traitor. I'm sorry. I had no idea. Uh, Come on, just finish the window. Come on, it's OK. Fine. Just don't tell Charlie. I'm serious. He'll fire us both. I banged your girlfriend last night. What? Sharon? Saddle up on the baloney pony. It's bullshit. She was at play practice last night. Was. Then, she was at play with Marcus's Nards practice. I don't believe it. You're just trying to piss me off. Ask her. She says we get along real well together. Excuse me, how many wooden nickels for this fish, shopkeep? Oh, that fish, ma'am. That fish ain't for sale. Well, not for sale? Whatever for? Because God-fearing men know better than to do business with an adulterous whore. I wear these letters to my shame. I pray contrition seven times daily. Quiet, whore. Were Jesus here, he would give to thee a mighty spanking. Please. All I desire is this putrid fish. Never again shall I taste the carnal pleasures of man flesh. Why must I forever be tormented? Slut! Gentle townsfolk, I beseech you to show mercy upon this woman of lost virtue, even though her hips are wobbly and her legs tend to fly apart at the mere thought of sexual meat. <laughs> God help me. I am a whore. But even whores must eat. You can eat me. Damn it, Jack, what do you want? Are you cheating on me? I, um, I, I still care about you. But, uh, but you had to rip my heart out and show it to me. Uh, whoa, um, Sharon, do you need to take a break? No, uh, if he wants to do this in public, that's fine by me. Jack. If you knew him, you would understand. We get along so well. Oh, I bet you do. Jeez, I mean, we get along too, you know. I just don't think we have any spark anymore. I've been nothing but good to you since we met. We don't even fight. <laughs> You're my sweet cheeks. Jack, he's so alive. He takes risks. He wants to have meaning in his life. And besides, we're not married. What? Well, I was going to ask you. Jack, are you out of your mind? No way. What did he say to you? What's so goddamn great about this guy? It's none of your business. Oh, oh I want to know. I want to know. He's hung like King Kong, okay? Oh. <laughs> what? What? No, fuck you and die! <laughs> My face! Not your sweet cheeks anymore! <clears throat> well, we're here. Let's
let's rehearse. Where were we? Uh, <clears throat> I refuse to sell even the most putrid piece of fish to this bow-legged prostitute. Sharon. Aha! The bear is my mommy. So anyway, she says that the spark died. I guess nothing gold can stay. Okay, okay, so the sex was lit. What else did she say? She sure spoke highly of Marcus. And she was like, we get along so well. Hooligan! God, I should just smack that sarcastic smile off its face. I don't know, dude. He's Powerful. Beefy. I got the righteous fury. I got a green belt in karate, you know. Yeah, from like the eighth grade. Okay, so you smack him in, and he goes down. You know what? He's just gonna press charges. You're gonna go to jail, and he's gonna get his meat hooks deeper into your girlfriend. You gotta be the good guy. Just one punch, right in the face. At least I feel better. the most beautiful girl I've ever been with. Yeah. I used to say I love you all the time. You poor bastard. It's just because she's hot. You said so yourself. That's the first thing you said. Oh, she's so beautiful. Well, you know what? She's Polish. In a couple of years, she's going to sprout a hairy ass, get a big hump on her back, get that mole going right there. So how do I win her back? You don't. She got bored with you and dumped you to be with some loser. You were completely in the right. I think she may have been annoyed at my video games. Listen, video games? Look at me. Video games are your God-given right as a freedom-fighting American. Do you understand? Last call! You studs need anything else? Yeah. Can we get a couple uh, energy drinks for the long journey home? Two horny bears, vodka. How about a fury horse and vodka? We're all out of horny bear. What the fuck ever. <laughs> yeah, I don't even know what this fury horse stuff is. Better be good. Oh, you lucked out. This is fucking awesome. Dude. Here's the furious horses. Mm. Angry equines. Mm. You see that dribbles? Ah, oh, I'm drunk and I'm in the street like a vagabond. No man, vagabond. Hey, you're gonna get home okay, and you're not gonna pass on the dumpster, and you are not gonna get raped by that guy. Got my eye on you, buddy. You rapist. Hey, man. You all right? Just gonna... gonna play some station and crash. All right. Hey, 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 hey. What? You! You gotta be like the phoenix. Like the phoenix. And rise from the ashes. You know? Grrr! Right? Get it? Come on, Chuckles. Give me a good, give me a good A little more guttural. It's a little better. It's a little better. You're showing a little improvement. I'm giving you a C minus. Thanks, man. All right. All right. All right. Don't get raped. All right. Clinch. We get along so well. Saddle up on the baloney pony. It's Friday. I just don't think we have any spark anymore.
Holy shit. I am totally fucking awesome. This is awesome. I find the curious squirrelio shading from Dark Delight to be, uh, exhilarating, don't you? You mean chiaroscuro? Yeah, that's, that's what I meant. Are we having a moment here? Um, so Jack, this is really your work? Yep. No offense, but why are you still working here? Free coffee. Dude, dude. You have to read the comic. Oh, it's perfect. Martian dominatrixes. Dominatrix. That's right. They try and take over the world, but it takes an ape man from the swamp with no respect for authority whatsoever to stop them. The skunk. There's gonna be a lot of sex and a lot of violence, and we are gonna learn something by the end of this. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. Yeah, it's got a lot of moxie. Yeah! I don't know, Jack. Maybe you should just stick with the painting? You don't like it? No. Oh. Painting has to come from my soul. When I painted that, I felt I was painting with my own blood. Let me hypothesize. This painting is a, a manifestation of your ennui with this job. No! Marcus slept with my girlfriend. Sharon? I'm sorry. Don't be. She's not. I'm sure it's not easy. It's, I hope she gets hurt so big that explode her face! Hey, welcome to the movies and shit. Can I take your order? Frankfurter and cola, please. What the fuck's a Frankfurter? Uh, Jack, hey, why don't you go show Charlie your little art project here, huh? I'll, I'll take this one for you. Welcome to the movies and shit. For a dollar less, I can make that a small. I hate you. This is fabulous. I'll email it to my aunt ASAP. Think she'll like it? Pretty edgy for the suits. She might like it. She has eclectic taste and isn't afraid to take a risk. I hope so. I can get out of this godforsaken puke hole. Jack, look at the time. Your shift's over. Hooray, you can go now. Bye. Hey. Sorry I'm late. That's Jack's work, isn't it? Indeedy. Feast your eyes on the hidden talent of our concession manager. I am totally awesome. What's up, Nick? Stacy? What's going on? Not much. Hey, why'd you have sex with Jack's girlfriend? Here we go. It's none of your beeswax. Sharon and I have a special connection. She's a very special, great gal, all right? Yeah? Well, that's just what Jack would say. You know, if somebody has a girlfriend, it's only common courtesy not to boing her with your dork! Hey, Marcus, you wanna give me a hug up? Yeah. Look. I know this is an awkward situation. Sharon and I were meant to be together. We have a very special great thing going. She used to say she was a skank without a cause. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> I did say that. You used to say she smelled like bison. Well, I was kidding. Can we just change the subject? Yeah. Jack and I are finally starting the comic. It's gonna be awesome. That's just great. Thank mm -hmm. you.
Hey, Pop. Oh, hey, Jack. What's shaking? Uh, painting again. Finally. I thought you'd forgotten how. Anyway, I was, uh, I was wondering. I didn't get enough hours this week, and I'm really short on cash for food and stuff. Oh, no. You're hereby cut off. What? But I'm as broke as a joke. Blame your pal that ratted us out. Your mom's mad as hell. Tell you what, I got 50 bucks I can send you, but that's about it. Thanks, Pop. No, I'm working on a project that will hopefully get me some money. Go for it, boy, but in the meantime, I'd stock up on ramen noodles. Play the piano. It'll cheer you up. Jack, you're doing a bang-up job. Listen, it's closing time, so why don't you take out the trash when you go down? Marcus, help him. seeing things lately, like <laughs> things that ain't really there. I don't know if it's all the stuff that I'm smoking, if I'm just losing it. You ever get that? Look, I need you to know I'm real sorry about everything that's going on. I don't like this. I hate this. I hate the things that I have to do. Jack, I don't even like sharing. Stay the hell away from me! That's no way to treat your muse, Jackie boy. Before this is over, I want to show you a thing or two about pain. Get out of here. Ow! Ow, my ear! <laughs> Think Van Gogh, buddy boy. Dear Aunt Martha, attached to this email is a picture of a painting by one of my employees, Jack. It makes me think of that night in Key West when I got hot wax poured all over me and then whipped with a wet towel. Excruciating, yet exquisite. I know you'll recognize it as something unique and a mind worthy of the Russell Building. In conclusion, Jack is my selection as the premier undiscovered talent in Chicago. His hygiene has slipped of late, but I guess that's normal for a painter on his game. Right back when the mood strikes you, Charlie. Salubrious salutations, Charlie. 
After intimate contemplation of this digital rendering, I cannot help but be flabbergasted. The perverse imagery caterwauls a quagmire of agony, but the luminous colors add an atom of hope. Being a woman of business, I must see at least one more work of comparable quality from this Jack before I go ahead with the commission. Please inform him thus. Kindest regards. Aunt Martha, billionaire. Wham. <laughs> You better send that chick another penny before she uh, runs out of adjectives. Can't. No food, no girlfriend. I'm physically and emotionally retarded. You could always get back with Sharon and let her scrap you again. Nah, she'd never go for it. She's completely sold on Marcus's BS. Oh, God, I was kidding, you ass. Oh. Not to light a fire under your ass, but we are risking our asses here. Would you relax? There's no such thing as ninjas. I am serious. It was a bona fide ninja. Shh. I believe you. Anyway, I could use the currency. <laughs> Not that I don't appreciate your expired gas station burritos. Hey, I hook you up, don't I? Besides, it all tastes good with beer. Yeah, at least I'm getting my vitamin B. That's right. Oh, your tummy. Ignore it. Comic time, baby. We got this, this hilarious, hulking, behemoth, man-ape smashing stuff. We got these space-age chicks with clingy space-age tutus cracking whips. We've got, we've got a brain-warping crescendo. We've got horrifying mm. action, betrayal, incredible technology, and an anti-establishment underlining socio-political message. Imagine the, the tie-ins, the movie rights, the action figures! We'll be true American all-stars. Yeah! Ah, and not only that, but it's fun as hell to do, am I right? Absolutely, yes. Let's get this show on the road, start drawing, come on! <laughs> Hollywood money, here we come, we're gonna win! We are gonna do some cool stuff and... Dude, I can't concentrate. Sorry. This is some good shading you got going on. Thank you. This is boring. You want to play some video games? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Prepare to die. Ooh. Want to call a truce? No, no truce. You were a disgrace and a failure. Ah, can I have my gun back? I promise I won't shoot you. <laughs> that good joke, mosquito. <laughs> <laughs> Now, where's the gun? I sold it. It is gone. Damn it! Fine. I want you to understand that I consider what I'm about to do an act of self-defense. Any last words of wisdom? Attack! <laughs> oh crap. Yeah! I don't have a beef with you guys! Yeah, but I got bloodless. Huh? Yeah! 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 Oh, I can't swim!
Ninjas. They're all flash and no fight. All those pussies have their black belts and I don't have mine. You remember? The first time I agreed to teach you, you asked me to be as a father to you. I am honor bound to see you make something of yourself. You have to show me something in your life that is of value. Only then will you earn this. Is Jack gonna go into that sort of paralysis he was in when he was with you? I don't know. I think he'll finish one or two projects first. He always says that if you're a creative person, it, it doesn't matter what the medium is. He can do an oil painting or draw a cartoon, and it, it's just an outlet for whatever's inside. Yeah. I think you have a knicker working on that skunk ape cartoon. Skunk ape? What the hell am I missing? It's a skunk ape? That mediocre hack is hitching a free ride. That Nick is a, is a talent leeching fuck. I, I think you might be blowing this out of proportion just a little. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna slit his fucking throat for this. Ugh, be quiet and turn off the light. My show opens tomorrow and I need to sleep. I'm gonna sort some things out. Hello? Jack and Sharon. Uh, hi. Uh, what's up? Uh, I'm a little freaked out. Why? What happened? Can I just leave them in? Uh, sure. Hey. Well, this place has certainly changed. Yeah. Get you a beer. I don't know where Marcus is. We were supposed to meet tonight to celebrate my opening night, and he never showed. So he blew you off. It can happen to you, too. Can we please put aside the bitterness for just one minute? I think he, I think he's going to jump Nick. I told him that you two were working on a comic together, and he got all charged up in a rage. I've never seen him like that. It was a whole different person. I'm scared. All right. Where did you see him last? Uh, work. Before he rode off, he got high and he was saying something about a nerd salad. Nerd salad. Damn it, Jack. OK. I'll run up to the theater. I've got to talk shop with Nick anyway. Thank you. Oh! <laughs> Jeepers, don't sneak up on me like that. This last shift gives me the creeps. So what, are you here seeing flesh eaters again, or what? No, actually, uh, Sharon told me that Marcus was gonna jump you. What? Is she serious? Yeah, she was really worked up about it. Oh. I guess I did sass him pretty good the other day, but uh, I don't think that warrants a full-on jumping on. I don't know, man. Dude's OCD. 
Earlier, he told me he was going to show me a thing or two about pain, and it hits me in the ear. And it really hurt! Man, wasn't stealing Sharon enough for his little ego? Why is he being so antagonistic towards you? Because he's a crackhead? Man, that guy is effed. But you know what? You don't need to worry about me. And you know why? He's going to crap his pants when he sees this! Oh, ho, 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 ho! <laughs> Clobbert. Yeah, good old Clobbert. Destroyer of worlds! Yes, all shall look upon it and despair. So I hope you didn't come all the way out here just to save little old me. Hmm? Did you get those panels done or what? Uh, well, I only got to the Alien Queen Kung Fu fight. Oh man, that's the best part! That's the climax of issue two! I thought you were gonna get jumped. Gah, not gonna get jumped. The only thing you're doing by being here is keeping me from going into issue three, the intergalactic time portal. Now check it out. Those aliens from issue two, they weren't aliens. No, 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 they ain't aliens. They're actually dead people whose souls escaped from their bodies seconds before the bodies died. And they get pulled through the intergalactic time portal into another dimension, another world. But then these other souls keep trying to yank them back. So, you know, they pull them through this wormhole through the power of dark matter, right? And because of the dark matter, they can become anything they want in the universe. If you think about it, it's very scientifically plausible. And you're thinking of founding a religion. <laughs> See, thanks for being weird. That's what I do. But you know, uh, scientifically speaking, if we don't keep creating, it'll be like we never existed. So we need to get going on the comic, all right? We need to be like the Phoenix. Remember the Phoenix? Remember the Phoenix. You know. <coughs> give me, give me. <coughs> yeah. A little more. <coughs> <laughs> That's what happened, Reverend. That's right. Because all this talk about mystical creatures makes me want a doobie. We'll be back in five. Okay. Have fun with your illegal doobie. Smoke bombs are pretty bad. Hey, hello, the dog, you nerd. See you soon, Nick.
stasis and darkness. Nick Sizemore ever exhibit suicidal tendencies while he worked here? You mean aside from constantly saying he wanted to kill himself? Could you give me an example? Well, last night I asked him to sweep up the lobby and he said, do I still have to if I kill myself? Nick played Dungeons and Dragons? I think so. Listen to heavy metal music? I think. Yeah, it's so typical. I used to play D&D &D when I was a kid, too. I was a wizard. I I'm 90% sure it was murder. It's this guy we work with, Marcus. Definitely. He was always talking about snuffing it. You can hardly get him to talk about anything else, really. I mean, even, even science fiction. <laughs> God. I used to love just sitting around, listening to him tell those wonderful stories of his. Now he's gone. <laughs> I mean, I, I could have done something. I could have I made him seek counseling or, or something. Now it's too late. Oh, God. Why? I know, son. It's a tragedy. It's a tough time for all you kids. But can you answer a few more questions? I... I guess. Where were you last night between 11.30 and midnight? I was, uh, earning his black belt. Yes. Yes, he was training. And that was between 10.30 and 11? Yes. I was teaching the way of the ninja. My son's work to make a compilation. Um, it's amazing how many stories you can write about sexy robots. Anyway, I'm realizing that none of these fantasy stories are finished. I know you two worked on some projects together. Did you have any of his completed work? Actually, everything we worked on was a work in progress. He wrote as he went along. Look, I'll give you what I have, but it's not finished. Sorry. We're murdering boyfriends here. If I had a weapon right now, there'd be some bloody revenge right here. I don't care who sees. Jack, Nick would have wanted you to have this. He got it during his Return of the Rings tour of New Zealand. Oh, cool. Sorry. Thanks, Mick. Jack! Last night, I dreamt that we were just kids again. And the summer was longer than anything. And those wicked shadows fell. Damn it! So what's you drawing there, Jacko? Alien ladies with, with space age clingy tutus on cracking whips? Dude. Here's the furious horses. 
Anyway, it all tastes good in beer, right? Before this is over, I want to show you a thing or two about pain. Get out! <laughs> How can I ah! tell you? you were just here with me, and now I have grown up with just a memory. You and I would tell our dreams we built so high. Was it all for nothing? Just a little white lie. Sorry, Nick. Couldn't finish it without you. you slaughter that nerd. I wanted his painter friend to suffer. That's stupid. Why? His work gets better the more I hurt him. His work is my legacy. And how the hell is that supposed to impress me? Uh, I'm achieving something. I I'm making my mark. You said to earn my black belt, I have to prove myself in combat. And life, I'm doing that. Poor miserable mosquito. Why can't you just call me Grasshopper, like a good sensei? Because you fucking suck. You are a parasite. You can't claim another's achievements for your own. Where did you learn this? I learned it by watching you, Nobu. You have no discipline. You see this? my teaching certificate. It say that I am certified instructor of ninja. Where is your certificate? You have none. You are just little bitch. But I did what ah, you said. You fail. You hunk of yak shit. You fail. <laughs> yeah! ah! Thought you said you sold that. You thought wrong, sweet tits. I see you again. It's Sayonara. <laughs> Jack. Aunt Martha, this is Jack. Welcome back, Jack. This is Martha Russell. It's a genuine and splendiferous pleasure to make your acquaintance. Uh, likewise. <laughs> Charlie has shown me uh, the photos of your latest work, the mural. I have to tell you, I've never seen work like yours. It's inconceivable to me that someone so obviously inexperienced and green could dream up work like this. Thanks. I feel I've grown up a lot since this last month. <laughs> I want you to paint a mural for the lobby of the new Russell building downtown. I intend to pay you $85,000 to do it. This is where the work will be. I want you to begin as soon as possible. 
This is too good to be true. <laughs> Congratulations, dude. Hey, Jackie boy. What's new? Let's start with the sword that's at my neck. Flick of the wrist. Game over. Why would you destroy everything you've been working for? Because you don't deserve what I've given you. You'd just be another mindless zombie if it wasn't for me. Who gave you all that pain that you're drawing from? Who stole your girlfriend? Ruined your relationship with your family? Who risked death row to splatter your friend all over the country? You should be signing my name at the bottom of those paintings. I painted those paintings, not you, you murdering son of a bitch! <laughs> I would have painted them anyway. I think you're full of shit and you know it. You owe it all to me, Jack. You owe it all to me. Yeah? Well, I'm miserable! My pit in hell is a little deeper than yours. See, Jack, you were born with a gift. I had to work hard. Shut up! I could work to the end of my life and still not have anything that you have. You could have done anything you wanted. Look, you made me the painter I might have never been. I want you to feel what it's like to never accomplish anything. I want you to fail like I did. My art project, Jackie boy. And I have one final brush stroke. Yeah! No, Jackie! No! No! Ha <laughs> ha! 
Jack! Jack! You'll never paint again. Do you understand? Uh, You're never, uh, ever gonna uh, paint uh, again. Uh, you have two uh, options, Jackie boy. You can kill yourself, or you can give up painting. I gotcha! <laughs> I got you back! We're the same now, Jackie boy. <laughs> Neither of us are gonna grow up to be what we wanna be. <laughs> Come down there and bitch slap your fat face! You like the Phoenix. Phoenix, be like it. Yeah. No better.
friend of a friend thing. I guess what it boils down to is I'm a go-getter, a people person, with a good portfolio, solid references, and just enough lack of self-control to really enjoy chainsawing your motherfucking head off. Great art comes from great pain. <laughs> this is fabulous. Well, I haven't been inspired lately. We went to high school together. Still painting? I haven't painted in like over a year. Don't do it! Don't do it! Oh, we did it! <laughs> can't paint. I can't write. The only thing I'm really good at is hand-to-hand -hand combo. Oh! Huh. Your best is not good enough! Great art comes from great pain. I'll remember that. Giddy up! <laughs> you are so vile. Damn it, Jack, what do you want? Are you cheating on me? If somebody has a girlfriend, it's only common courtesy not to boing her with your dork. I am a whore. But even whores must eat. Holy shit. I am totally fucking awesome. Attack This is fabulous. Oh, crap. The underlying theme of the zombie plot is to not be a brainless creep. This boy gets better the more I hurt him. I'm to be like the phoenix rise from the ashes. His work is my legacy. He was saying all sorts of crazy things. He was talking about killing someone. You're my art project, Jackie.